Today we're going to show you how to update your Unity Box. This update will take about 5 minutes to install drivers and complete the update of firmware. This can only be done on a Windows as they are utilizing Windows driver. Unfortunately, Mac is not available for updates at the moment. Before you update your Unity Box, you want to identify what version of firmware you're at. Now this firmware version is only viewable upon boot up of the Unity. So when you apply power, or in my case since the unit is already on, reset the box, you're going to be able to view this firmware revision. So what I'm going to do with this one is hold this reset button down for a few seconds until the LCD prompts me that the system is restarting. Upon restart, you're going to see at the bottom of the screen the MAC address as well as the firmware version here. The last three digits on top, 061, identifies the firmware revision. And this is good because we need to update this box to 0P. Okay, now that you've identified the firmware version on your Unity box, and you've downloaded the proper updates from our website, go to your downloads and identify the Unity Update folder. Notice that this folder is zipped. It has a little zipper across the icon. What that means is you're not going to be able to access the files until you extract them all. So go ahead, hover over that folder, hit right click, and extract all. Now the default destination is going to stay right where you're at in your downloads folder which is totally fine. So go ahead and hit extract and you'll notice that the folder is showing in your downloads without the zipper. This is good because now you can access the files inside. Now that you have access, locate the drivers folder. Go ahead and select that and you'll notice we have two more zipped files. Uh, these zip folders are two separate drivers that you're going to have to install. So let's go in and do the same process with the first one. Right click, extract all, default destination is good, and hit extract. Again, I'm going to show you that the folder is now there and unzipped, and these are the files that you have access to. Locate the setup application file, double click. Do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Yes. And now this prompt is here and it's giving you three options, install, uninstall, and help. So we're going to go ahead and hit install. Take a few seconds and it's going to give you a prompt letting you know that it, it was successful. Driver install successful. Great. We can close this. Close this. Go back to our second zip folder. Same process here. Right click. Extract all. Same destination. Extract. Notice the folder is there and unzipped. Now for this driver, the CP210X or 2100, you're going to locate the X64 application file. Double click that. Allow for changes and then it's going to give you a prompt just saying to continue, click next, go ahead and hit next, accept, shows you the drivers were successfully installed in this computer, go ahead and hit finish, and you have successfully installed both of your drivers. Now the last part of this update, since you have both drivers installed, we're going back to our unzip file, locating the Windows batch file updater and you want to ensure that you have the USB-A mail-to-mail connected from your USB port to the install port of your Unity. If that's done, the batch file will automatically identify the COM port and do the whole update for you. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and double click the updater. Notice how it identified the port itself using COM4 and it's running the install one out of three steps, you don't have to do anything, but keep an eye on the prompt and make sure that no errors occur. During the update process, the Unity will reboot three times. Follow the script and ensure that all three reboots happen and the script will let you know when this is completed. Make sure that this is completed before removing power or removing the USB cable.